So we opened up the Blastoise VMAX box last time. This time we've got the Venusaur box. Let's get straight into this. So here's a look at the Venusaur box. Obviously I can't get it all in shot, but it's the same as the Blastoise box. You get the promo card, the jumbo promo, the sleeves, and then four packs. So let's crack it open. So just like the Blastoise box, we have a Venusaur VMAX promo. The promo I don't think for Venusaur is as good as the Blastoise one, but it's still a Kanto starter evolution promo, so it's worth getting in my eyes. And they are just generally nice promos, so. We then have the Venusaur sleeves, which have the same issue as the Blastoise what sleeves, but I think actually quite worse because the cutoff seems to be bigger for some reason, I don't know why. Uh, I don't see why they couldn't just print them to the edges. But that seems like a Pokemon TCG issue, printing issue, rather than actually anything else. Here's the Jumbo, which again, like the uh, Barcelona's one, will probably go straight in my girlfriend's uh, Jumbo Binder collection. And just like last time, four packs, Sun and Moon Base, Darkness of Blaze, and two Battle Stars. We'll stick with the same order, so we'll start with Sun and Moon. A set that I didn't get to open, but just seems to be in every box, tin, that Pokemon TCG are printing at the moment. It just seems to be everywhere. And I don't know why. Got some whitening on some of the corners already, so we start off with Fairy Energy. The only difference that's between the Sword and Shield sets and Sun and Moon. Uh, Metapod. Toracat, Rainbow Energy, okay. I'm surprised that's not a rare, actually. Reverse Hollow, that'd be quite nice, I imagine. Uh, Marini, Rock and Roller, Alolan Rattata, uh, Chinchow, Paris, a Reverse Surskit. Oh, and a Decidueye GX, okay. That is a much better start to this video than the Blastoise box. We only got one Hollow last time, but this time we actually get a Half Out. The GX is a Half Arts. I don't know if I prefer GXs to V cards. On to Darkness Ablaze. Blaze it up. Blazing Squad. Four and Meta Energy. Zwellius. Familiar Bell. Struggle Gloves. Electrike. Galari Mr. Mime. Rhymer, Clink, into Skitty, we've got a Reverse Bear Tick, and our rare is a Vicavolt V, so we get a second half art in two packs, and I can actually now compare my point. Do I prefer the design of the GXs or the V cards? I personally, oh, see the artwork on the cards themselves isn't too bad. I think the issue for me is the borders around them. I think the GX borders just look a bit nicer. First pack of Battle Stars this video. I honestly I don't expect much from these two Battle Style packs because the pull rates is so bad for Battle Styles. Like right, getting single packs, you are chancing your luck, and half the time we've got absolutely nothing. So, Lightning Energy into a Single Strike Style Mustard, into a Cheryl, we have By Sharp Sharpening His Blades, a Silly Cobra in the Sand, Houndor pulling some rocks, Lickitung chasing after his next victim, Horsey sprinkling some water, Mankey getting ready to fight, a Reverse More while Single Strike. See, the metal, um, the steel type Reverse Hollows are actually quite nice. And our rare is an Aegislash. I don't know why they put two um, Aegislashes in this set. And our last pack of the video, an Empoleon on the artwork. Can we get a hollow or better? Come on. I declare a thumb war into Fighting Energy, Bruxish, Boothlon, Urn of Vitality, Bronzor, Cacnea, Spoink, Rodicoli, 
Frillish into Reverse Timber, and our final rare of the video is an Electivire. Okay, not bad, but why is it not hollow? So once again, we'll go through the pulls of the video. The sleeves are obviously a highlight for me because I just love the look of the sleeves, even if they are cut off quite early on either side. We got a Vicavolt V half art, which is nice. Into a Decidueye GX, one of my favorite Pokemon from uh, Sun and Moon era. And last but not least, the promo. We all know you get a promo with every box, but I think the promos are worth it alone because they are just great. The Blastoise and VMAX. V -Max. Blastoise and Venusaur are both great Pokemon and their artwork for both cards is just fantastic. So yeah, there's the main pause for this video. I've been Pigeon. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.